Uh, I play a character called Rob Atkinson, who uh, this story sort of revolves around, I guess. Um, and he, I feel like he's a very relatable character because the storyline is quite real. You know, this is a real sort of old school thriller, horror, and you know, Rob is is a guy who I think, like I say, we can all relate to and certainly within the story, I hope, when you watch it, you think, okay, I've kind of been in that situation where I've had to make a decision and right or wrong, it doesn't necessarily define you, but it, but sometimes it doesn't go the way you think it's going to go. And um, I think we've all been in that situation. I play uh, Vera Trebe, uh, born and raised in Amsterdam and she comes from a very wealthy family in Amsterdam and um, she lives in one of these uh, canal houses in Amsterdam and they oversee the canal and uh, they're very old and beautiful they're like the the brownstones in in New York um, and she has her own bed and breakfast there and initially she seems friendly and helpful and nice However, dot, dot, dot. His name is Herbert Summers, and he's a senior DEA or drug enforcement agent um, who has been tracking or trying to discover the internal workings of a, a, a triad, a, a Chinese gangster group of mafia, basically, um, that are transporting drugs from London The uh, props department um, were fantastic. They built this set, and uh, I remember when I when I first led on the table, and there were like three prop guys above me, and they were lowering this blade down, and they were trying to figure out the height, obviously, because they didn't want it to go push on my neck, but they needed it to touch my neck, you know, um, and that was it was very surreal it was very because you at that point you kind of you know the lighting's been done we're in the scene is there set and you kind of start to believe that this blade is real and as soon as it starts touching the skin you do sort of freak out but and that really helped with the whole element of it because also i was ha I, i'm i can't move i'm handcuffed so it was quite claustrophobic and it was very atmospheric for me and so yeah to get into that and then you take yourself to a dark place and it all sort of comes to fruition it was fun working with uh, with Mike because he was scared all the time, um, because of you know all the scenes that we had to do. And um, but I I also was scared because I was scared to hurt him. So I was really trying, but he doesn't trust me. So uh, that was kind of uh, well, it sucked for him. Have a lovely stay.